Wow. Today is Christmas Eve, the day before Christmas when Christians commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ. I am Jennifer Igwe. Now, thanks for joining us for this Christmas Eve edition of Newsline. Series of activities are ongoing now, like prayers, festivities, and I'm sure some families have either pajamas, parties, or some other things like that going on. This is also a good time to look at the significance of the birth of Jesus Christ, the key reason for the season, and what it means to Christians and mankind. mankind. Then we have diverse preparations that will herald Christmas from planned menu, shopping, fantastic and elaborate Christmas decorations to the purchase of livestock. So I'm, I'm sure you understand that aspect. Are you going for chicken or turkey or both? We will be looking at all these today. Another crucial area as we count down to Christmas Day Boxing Day and other festivities is budgeting and how we spend. This is key so we don't become skint at the end of the whole celebration. On our lineup as well are stories that show how lovebirds formalized their unions and are ready to sing, fly, build, and live happily ever after. I'm so excited about Christmas and I've already activated my Christmas mode. And I may just go on and on, but I can see that my colleague in Abuja is waiting for the news. So I have to pause here so that we'll take the news segment. Newsline will continue thereafter. Lizzie, Merry Christmas. Christmas, Jennifer, and I can see your Christmas mode is already activated. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in Abuja. President Bola Tinubu felicitates with Christians this time of the year, which marks the birth of Jesus Christ and celebrates the hope and redemption that are the hallmarks of Christ's life. The president says this is an opportunity to enjoy the company of family and delight in the gifts of love and friendship that make life worthwhile. He adds that Nigerians should endeavor to extend a warm embrace of kindness in those to those around who need it and let the multiple acts of kindness service a light to guide us into a happy and wonderful new year. Mr. President assures that the nation will shortly emerge into a new dawn of prosperity, peace and irreversible progress. Similarly, President of the Senate Gotswilak Pabe calls on Nigerians to remain steadfast and hopeful as they celebrate Christmas regardless of the hard times citizens are experiencing. Senator Pabe expresses optimism that the series of socio-economic upheavals shall manifest in positive outcomes through the visionary development architecture of the current national leadership in the country, headed by President Bola Ahmed Chinobu. In the same vein, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas calls for prayers and supplication for Nigeria as Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus. In his Christmas message, he notes that Christ had a humble beginning before becoming a global and generational phenomenon. Therefore, it is necessary for Nigerians to emulate the virtues of Christ, which encompass love, sacrifice, and tolerance. Meanwhile, the federal government has declared Monday 25th, Tuesday 26th of December 2023 and Monday 1st of January 2024 as public holidays to mark the Christmas and New Year Day celebrations. The Minister of Interior, Olubume Tsunjojo, in a statement for states with Christians at home and abroad on these occasions, urging Christians to emulate the and imbibe teachings of Christ on humility, service, passion, patience, peace and righteousness. And the Corps Marshal Federal Road Safety Corps, Dauda Alibio, felicitates with Christians and assures everyone of the Corps' readiness to make the highways safe for all during this festive period. This was contained in his message, urging Christians to guard against bad driving habits that could compromise the safety of road users. The FRSC boss particularly cautions travelers against dangers that go with road travels with this period characterized by increased human and vehicular traffic. It warns against offenses like route violation, overloading, light signs violation, 
over speeding and driving under the influence of alcohol and drugs, which have been identified as being responsible for most crashes and deaths. He assures Nigerians of adequate patrol, rescue logistics and personnel deployed along all black sports and major highways across the country to ease movement of travelers and render prompt medical care in case of emergencies. He further appeals to Nigerians to call the FRS a toll line for emergencies and obstructions. Now, in, our, in other news, Nigeria's Vice President Kashim Shatima has been conferred with a chieftain's title of Enyi Indigo by the Dunukufia Kingdom in Anambra State. Status correspondent Abrahman Jibrila reports that the conferment was done at the 32nd Upo Ofala celebration. By the Constitution, hereby confer on you the title of one of the Congratulations. This is the honor done to the vice president by the Upo community in the south central political zone of Anambra State. The 2023 Ofala Festival of Upo community is the 32nd since the enthronement of Igwe Robert Chiku Dilim Eze, a resolute administrator who became the Igwe Okpo in 1992. The day serves as a rite of renewal for the traditional ruler and showcases the rich cultural heritage of the people. Vice President Kashim Shatima acknowledged the crucial role the traditional ruler and his community are playing in uniting the nation. I want to identify with you. I want to salute you, your courage, you are in this way. You are enterprising this position. You are lightness of heart. It's exemplified by the likes of the Zaki Ebe. The rest are short that my boss, William Bola Ahmed Tinebu, is determined to redefine the meaning and concept of modern leadership in Nigeria. The rest are short that the Nibo is the heartbeat of the Nigerian nation. The Nibo cannot be left behind. We work assiduously in all dispensation to see that the Ndibo is well represented and well endowed. The seamless blend of Christian religion with traditional activities stands out the Upo of Fala from other of Falas. From Upo community in Anambra State, Abraham Jibrila. NTA News. Transforming lives through its innovative initiatives is what Nigeria's foremost indigenous telecommunications and digital solutions provider Globacom has continuously achieved. The telecom giant has again produced landlords and winners of return tickets in the Glow Festival of Joy 2023 promo. Lynn Lenike witnessed the presentation of the premium prize in Lagos. It is the season of celebrations and definitely not out of place for the telecom giant Globacom to reward its customers. For these five loyal subscribers, Christmas has come with more blessings. They won a business class return ticket from Lagos to Paris, London and back. This great opportunity awaits more Globacom subscribers who recharge with 50,000 Naira or more within the month of the promotion. Who happens to be my first SIM card. And um, as of today, I think I have about um, so many SIMs, but only, it's only the glue I can give you of it. I was so happy, I was so happy, I was so delighted. I can't believe it until I get here. I told my friends and colleagues that I got something from Glow. Go Glow! We are reaching out to a high end class of sub subscribers. That's why we're giving up business. Um, class tickets to, to them and some of them to those that are charged um, from a hundred thousand and above have the opportunity to win um, houses. 
Christmas came early for Moses Sadu, a dedicated Globalcom subscriber, as he took possession of the premium prize of ongoing Globalcom Festival of Joy promotion, a three-bedroom bungalow located at Lakwe Axis of Lagos. It is a season of giving, it is a season when everybody is happy, it is a season of harvest and we feel it is the right time for us to actually reward our loyal customers and we know that it's coinciding with the time that everybody is elated and so it's just to add to the joy of the season. So for Glow to um, engage its customers with this promotion, um, we're here also to witness that one of the draws has been held and that the um, awards are being duly given. I would say that in the whole promotion, the Festival of Joy, the right things have been done from the time they approached us on this. Globalcom had since 2003 remained committed to providing its customers with world-class communications and digital services through constant deployment of latest technologies. In Lagos, Lynn Lenake, NTA News. Now to social intervention, the National Coordinator of the National Social Investment Programme Agency, Halima Shil, has assured Nigerians that there won't be compromise in the distribution of funds and equity to all vulnerable groups, regardless of political affiliation, as the agency stands as the human face of the renewed hope agenda of the government of the present administration. She stated this in Abuja while rolling out plans by the NSIPA to empower and provide livelihoods support to poor and vulnerable Nigerians through various intervention programs. We have successfully kick-started the conditional cash transfer program funded by World Bank with a 25,000 Naira monthly stipend for three months and we are targeting 15 million households. Beneficiaries so far have been benefiting from this grant. We have also flagged off the grant for vulnerable groups, which is a 20,000 one-off grant that targets a higher percentage of persons living with disabilities, senior citizens, amongst others. Part of activities of the agency is to harmonize as well as provide coordination for all social intervention programs through partnerships with other MDAs. The National Homegrown School Feeding will resume as soon as school resumes with an expansion to feed out of school children, especially the Almajri School, and they will also be enrolled into our skill empowerment and cash grant programs. This is done in collaboration with Ministry of Education. Trust that efforts are ongoing for an exit strategy for the existing NPAR beneficiaries with plans for the creation of a new portal for the enrollment of Batch D beneficiaries. To drug interception, desperate attempts by transnational criminal organizations to flood Nigeria with large quantities of illicit drugs during this season have been thwarted by operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency who intercepted millions of tramadol 225 milligrams pills, thousands of coding drug syrup bottles and bags of Canadian loud in consignments. Zenret Dingno brings us details. It's the Mutala Mohammed International Airport, MMIA Ikeja, Lagos. All tricks employed by the drug syndicates to smuggle into the country 7,500,000 pills of tramadol, 225 milligrams through the narco import shed of the airport were frustrated by NDLEA officers with the cooperation of men of the Nigeria Customs and other stakeholders. It is said to be the first of such coming from Hamburg, Germany. Two shops in Ojo area of Lagos with 258 cartons of codeine-based cough syrup and cartons of codeine tablets were recovered and a 70-year-old grandmother and her son arrested with 117.900 kg of cannabis sativa. 
A consignment of spare parts going to New Delhi, India was intercepted at the cargo terminal of the Lagos airport shipment containing illicit drugs, not less than 70 parcels of Canadian loud, a strong strain of cannabis with a gross weight of 35 kg were seized by operatives of the Tinkan Command from a container in the FCT Abuja. NDLE egg operatives intercepted a way bill consignment of 25,000 pills of tramadol, while their counterparts in Anambra arrested two suspects at Onicha Head Bridge with illicit drugs. Similarly, operatives in Delta State in a joint operation with the military raided the home of a drug kingpin, where bags of cannabis weighing 353 kgs were recovered. Similar arrests were also made in Trans Ekulu, Enugu State. In Edo State, five persons impersonating operatives of the agency were arrested with fabricated guns and pistol. While commending the efforts of officers and men of MMIA Lagos, Edo, Anambra, Enugu, Delta, FCT, and Tinkan commands of the agency, as well as the K9 unit for jobs well done in the past week. Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, urges officers and their compatriots to remain vigilant and get ready for the next phase of operations in the new year. Now, a marital bond of more than 50 years was broken when debt snatched Husseina Awal Ibrahim, the significant half of the Emir of Suleja, Malam Mohammed Awal Ibrahim, in the early hours of Sunday. Abdullah Suleiman Iyaji in this report captured the sober mood at the Emir's palace. Suleja Husseina Mohammed Awal, a quintessential queen mother, passed at sunrise, barely giving any sign of an imminent date with death. The first wife of the Emir, who bore him three children, relatives remember her as an easygoing and devoted Muslim who exhibited grace and humility with which she carried on. As she's fondly called Mama, she is actually a mother to everybody. Whether you know her, you don't her, you don't know her, she's always welcoming. We oh, miss her generosity, her simplicity, her religiousness. She 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 never. She never ceases to remind us of today. It's a very big loss to Sulejah local government, to the Emirate, and to Niger State as well. It's a very bitter one for us, but we have nothing to do. It's God that gives and takes. We are praying that God will forgive all her sins, that uh, may God give the husband the fortitude to bear the loss. And then uh, again, that will always be her final resting place. Married to the Emir of Suleja since 1947, the ties of companionship, severed by death, is a shock to mourners from far and near, thronging the palace to pay their last respects in a solemn atmosphere and preceded Islamic rites of prayer. The final burial procession followed at the Amgwangaya Muslim Cemetery, where the body of late Hajar Hussein and Muhammad Awal was interred, after which more prayers were offered for the repose of her soul. Abdullah Suleiman Yaji, NTA News. Well, in other news, Governor Alex Oti of Abia State has urged Nigerians to exercise patience with the economic policies initiated by President Bola Tinubu, expressing optimism that positive changes are on the horizon. The governor was one of the visitors who paid homage to President Bola Tinubu at his residence in Lagos. Governor Oti acknowledged that the present administration inherited a challenging economic landscape, highlighted issues such as surging inflation, a substantial debt profile and high unemployment that Tinobu faced on taking office. So anyone that understands how the economy works will agree that it's a very difficult challenge. So one thing is that uh, he has been very courageous uh, unifying the exchange rate and then removing petroleum subsidy which actually had become a scam and costing us a lot of money. So those policies are good, but then they come with their negative sides. They come with uh, challenges for an economy where over 60% of the population are living below the poverty line. So it's not going to be easy. 
immediately. But I believe that if we are patient and if we go through uh, the policies without uh, compromising, that over time uh, things will turn around. Nigerian Nobel laureate Professor Wally Shoinka also visited the president whom he described as an old friend. Professor Shoinka had advised President Tinubu not to run for presidency. However, says he's still waiting for the right moment to assess his administration. Are you convinced otherwise now? Well, you know, something you may have noticed about me that most uh, heads of state when they take office, I always leave them alone for about the first year. I don't know if you've seen that, if you've noticed that. Because they need, I know when they come in, they, they don't start from ground zero. They often start <clears throat> even lower than ground zero, and they have to make up. So I have this personal policy, whether it's Obasanjo or, or uh, Buhari or, or Jonathan. The first, the first meeting with him, in fact, is... Five years ago, asked me why I not talk. I said, go and ask the last person met last that I spoke five years during the first year. So I'm um, adopting the first visit. Well, actually, it's an embarrassing visit. At the end of one year, because, because when I visited him the last time, it was to try and persuade him not to run for office. I think I've written. Talking sports, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator George Alkume, earned for his contributions to sports development in Nigeria as Inel's group takes over football operations at Manchester United. Details with Badi Adele. Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator George Akume, has inaugurated whole 10 of the golf course at the Makudi Golf and Country Club, which was renamed after him in recognition of his contributions to sports development. The inauguration came during a tournament organized to mark Senator Akume's 70th birthday by the club. With my visit here today, uh, my, my uh, interest has been uh, recaptured. In the meantime, Team Nigeria have set a target of winning the next edition of the UFAC Western Region 2 Karate International Championships for cadet junior and senior after finishing second at the just concluded championships at the velodrome of the Moshuda Biola National Stadium, Abuja. The Nigerian team secured a total of 28 medals, comprising 9 gold, 11 silver and 8 bronze medals to finish behind overall winners Burkina Faso, who got a total of 26 medals. With the support of the home government, uh, I can assure you that uh, if we are called to host tomorrow at uh, the African Championship, we have all the facilities. And our athletes have been charged. Uh, they know what is expected to be at the African stage. Anthony Joshua admits he will fight anyone after Deontay Wilder failed to overcome his opponent in Riyadh on Sunday morning. The plan for Joshua to fight Wilder next was appended after the American suffered a shock defeat against Joseph Parker, despite Joshua dominating or twirling for a crushing five-round victory on the same bill. The question that was asked is, what would you rather fight for? I would rather fight for the title. Now, the next question should be, but Anthony, there's no title on the line, so what would you like to do next? I would fight Deontay Wilder. And to football, Wolverhampton Wanderers on Sunday condemned Chelsea to an eighth Premier League defeat of a tepid campaign. Second half goals from Mario Lemina and Matt Duherty secured victory for the host. Meanwhile, Sir Jim Ratcliffe has acquired 25% of Manchester United and taken control of football operations. The announcement brings an end to 13 months of talks about a potential takeover of the Old Trafford Club. With sports update, Badi Adeleye, NT News. Thank you, Badi, for the updates. Now, with profound sadness, the management and staff of the Nigerian Television Authority express deepest condolences on the passing of the venerable actor Dejumot Lewis, acclaimed for his exceptional contributions to the iconic soap opera The Village Headmaster. A condolence message by the Director General Salihu Abduhamid Dembos notes that the actor, through his compelling performances, brought to life characters that resonated with his audiences across the nation, leaving an indefinite mark on the landscape of 
the Nigerian Television Authority. His talent and unwavering commitment to his craft made him a true luminary in the entertainment industry. The DG also recognizes the impact he had in NCA as an institution and the countless viewers who welcomed him into their homes for decades. The Director General prays for the family to find solace in the memories of his remarkable career and the joy he brought to so many. And next is a look at the weather prospect for tomorrow, Monday. Compliments of the season and welcome to the Christmas Day forecast. The coastal belts of the country are expected to be in a hazy atmosphere with few patches of clouds while the inland cities of the south all the way up to the northern region are expected to experience moderate dust haze with horizontal visibility of 2 to 5 kilometers throughout the day. Stand by for the air quality index and temperature forecast across some selected cities. That's all. Thank you for watching and have a happy holiday. And that ends the new segment. More to come with Jennifer after this message is to stay with us. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, no. Unlimited. Enjoy an exciting sports betting experience and get a chance to become the next Betano millionaire. Follow Betano across social media. Download the app, register, and place a bet of at least 1,000 naira to win amazing prizes. The grand prize of 5 million naira plus many other rewards. Join Petano now and start winning. Petano, the game starts now. Not for persons under the age of 18. It's time for First Bank's Win Big Promo. 170 million Naira up for grabs. Open or reactivate your First Bank account. Deposit and maintain a minimum of 5,000 Naira for just 30 days. And the soft life begins. Transact up to five times on our digital channels. And guess what? You could be a lucky 100,000 Naira winner each month. But wait, there's more. Deposit and maintain 50,000 Naira each month for four months or deposit 200,000 Naira for four months and you could stand a chance to win a whooping one million Naira in the grand finale. Don't miss your chance to win big with First Bank. This promo runs till February 23rd, 2024 and is open to new and existing account holders. Terms and conditions apply. Keep transacting. Keep winning. You first. First Bank. Compliments of the season. There has been an eventful journey with businesses and families working hard to meet their expectations. We at the Risk of Foods Limited appreciate your continued support and patronage of our wide range, healthy, proudly Nigerian products, including our Risco tomato paste, our Rigico tomato paste, Nadrico tomato mix, a Risco instant powder milk, a Risco seasoning cubes, and our Risco tea. We are committed to made in Nigerian products, creating thousands of jobs for our people to support the prosperity of our nation. So in the spirit of this festive season, we thank you, our numerous distributors, partners, and esteemed customers all around Nigeria, including ShopRite, Next Cash and Carry, Spa, Prince Ebano, Buka Hut, Market Square, Sahar Stores, Josh Wright, Convent University, the Redeem Christian Church of God, Agaken Diocese of Amit and Inewi, and the Catholic Diocese of Onitra. Continue to eat healthy, 
buy a risk of products, buy made in Nigeria, as we wish you loads of delicious moments with family and loved ones. Seasons greetings from Erisco Foods Limited. The petroleum tankers drivers of Nupeng, in collaboration with the Federal Road Safety Corps FRSC, joyfully congratulates Christian Faithful this Christmas period. It is a season for us to share love with friends and family. The safety of all travelers is our priority. Do not drink and drive. Use your seat belts while driving. Don't drive with worn out tires. Obey all traffic rules and regulations and ensure your vehicle is in good condition and certified roadworthy. Consideration of other road users is everybody's responsibility. For emergency, please call FRSC toll free line 122. Remember, your life is precious to your loved ones and the nation. Have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. This message is from the Nigerian Union of Petroleum Tankers Drivers, Comrade Augustine Egbon, National Chairman, PTD Branch of Nupeng Announcer. Season's greetings, Abuja. At this joyous time of the year, we at the FCT Internal Revenue Service are honored to have you with us. We say a big thank you to all our esteemed taxpayers for their compliance and cooperation. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a new year filled with happiness, prosperity, and love. Happy holidays. Together, let's build the FCT of our dreams by paying our taxes. Welcome back. Thanks for being there. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ is celebrated by billions of people across the world as a religious festival which knows no boundaries. Elizabeth Omori takes a look at the origin of Christmas, which dates back more than 2,000 years ago, according to the Messianic prophecy. Thou shalt conceive and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. The birth of Christ, as accounted by the Gospels of Luke and Matthew, revealed that Jesus was supernaturally burned by a virgin, Mary, betrothed to Joseph, both descendants of David. Fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Jesus was born during the period King Herod was told the king of the Jews was born, so he ordered the killing of babies within two years. The flight of Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem became necessary following the census ordered by the Romans. For the scriptures to be fulfilled, an angel appeared to shepherds on the field watching their sheep and instructed them to proclaim the arrival of Jesus. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying after the birth of Jesus, the three kings, known as the three wise men, visited the manger where Jesus was wrapped in a swaddling cloth to present gifts. The day Jesus was born, known as Christmas, dates back to the 4th century, according to the Roman history. Today, it is a festival celebrated in Nick Festival in Christendom. We celebrate him because he is life. He came to give us life. The Bible says while we were yet sinners, he came. He came to die for us. So we celebrated his birth. The birth is what heralded his life and eventually his death. Several activities characterize this season, including sharing of gifts, end of the year parties, special visits, carol services, decoration of streets, homes, and offices. Some residents of Abuja say Christmas should be celebrated to reflect the virtues Christ lived for. So they have not seen themselves for years, get to see themselves married together and get happy together. At least it brings people together to make them forget one or two things that have been plaguing them in their minds. Spiritually, it means the time to reflect on the birth, the death, the resurrection of Jesus. And what is Christmas without songs? Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on 
on Christmas Day. And from the Newsline crew, Merry Christmas. time for celebration indeed and no matter the, cha the challenges no matter the situation in the country no matter what you think you're facing Christmas is a time for all of us to come together to bond and to celebrate now on the Christian calendar Christmas is the anniversary of the birth of Jesus Christ and remains one of the most significant celebrations Christian faithful look forward to annually. Diana Ajale in this report takes a look at the importance of the celebration and how Christians in Lagos are preparing for the festivities. From the calm atmosphere, beautiful decorations of the city streets, unusual shopping by individuals to carols, all indicates the eve of Christmas celebration. A visit to the popular Balugu market that usually played host to major sellers and buyers from within and outside Lagos revealed low patronage as both sellers and buyers lament high costs of commodities. Like last year, I bought, it, I bought this cloth, 5,000, although different color from my other sister, but I just like the cloth, so let me buy it today. The cloth now is 10,000. We as children of God, we just thank God for every situation that we meet and say, we are alive, we have not lost anybody, at least that one is enough to appreciate God. Uh, we serve now the thing that affect us. Because if the thing high like this, customer where they buy three, five, if you come, you know, go buy yourself, you go say, no, be by four, you know, be food, you go go back. Now, biblically, is it compulsory to wear new clothes during Christmas celebration? Jesus Christ was born in the manger. What are you killing yourself after new clothing for? I pray God will provide for you. But the one that is there is okay. What is important is your heart. Let the love of the Lord saturate in your heart. And then you can't miss it. Keep loving. When you love, we will share. When you love, you will care. Beyond wearing of new clothes and eating special meals, Clarice speak further on the importance of the celebration. The significance of Christmas is God doing what people thought that God could never do. And then finally made himself a sacrifice to play the supreme price for our redemption. Number two, faith and hope. Faith and hope. Number three, godliness. The consensus is that Christmas celebration is to emphasize the love of God for mankind. Through the birth of Jesus Christ, and Christians are expected to follow example of Christ, which is love and being Christ-like. We just like every opportunity to celebrate, and we must buy new clothes, new shoes, and things like that. But it's important for us to know that Christmas is about virtues and not get carried away celebrating and forgetting the reason for the season. Now, towards improving moods and igniting positive memories this season, homes, offices and streets of Abuja, the federal capital city, have witnessed aesthetics of all shades of decorations. Serafina Okun Umekwe shares the beauty with us. Imagine a Christmas without decorations? I bet you would not hear such under any circumstance. A drive around the metropolis, Christmas announces its arrival as the streets are beautifully adorned with all shades and colors of lights. We normally do is just to celebrate in order to bring out the beauty of the birth of Jesus. So those are the content why the interior and creativities are always implemented to that. The feel is always of coziness and of family and of sweetness. And of course it's Christmas, so we have decorations everywhere. Don't forget the lights. We have lights, all sorts of lights, and then we have our tinsels. For the promoters of aesthetics and decorations, the Christmas tree signifies the tree of life to humanity. 
Christmas tree signifies the birth and the death of Jesus Christ together. That the branches and the shrubs signify the um, thorn crown put on Jesus Christ when he died. As the world over commemorates the birth of the Savior of the world, it is worthy of note that Christmas comes with its unique colors that reflects healing, happiness, peace, and creating the right mood. Now, when Oshun State discouraged the use of fireworks and carnivals for Christmas and the New Year celebrations, most residents pictured a dull state and celebration. Little did they know something better was on the way. Wondering what it is? Annie Daniels, a lover of Christmas, will tell us. With few hours to Christmas, Oshobo remains calm with people up and about. The markets and motor parks are busy with activities to celebrate the season. From Oshobo to Ibadan, it's 2-5. So from Oshobo to Lagos also, 5,000, 5-5. Five, five. It's Christ's um, birth, so we are celebrating it. So I have to dress well to church to look fine and then to praise God. I looked around for Christmas decorations but only found this one. And don't expect to see fireworks either. The state government has put a ban on that. There are many people that are sick inside, especially aged people, to be using knockout, banger, even to some people, they may nearly faint. It will look like if there is a gun or arm robber is coming to their neighborhood. With that, these respondents and several others are sure this Christmas won't be an exciting one for them. Then, on my way home from work, I saw this. There is excitement in the air. Christmas is here. Big, big city like Abuja, Lagos, that is where we see these kind of things. But coming here to see this edifice, this beautiful Christmas light is very, very commendable. It's a sign of good things that is happening in the state. And we, as you can see here, children, they love beautiful things. Even we adults, which, which we love beautiful because it makes us relax. From their responses, I can tell some people here haven't traveled out of the shores of Oshun State. So... With these beautiful Christmas decorations, they are already in the United Kingdom. We are now in London because the, 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 the idea how they do it is very beautiful. Because if you are watching the NTA and other uh, uh, news like that, when they reveal things like this, you think that you are in UK or in another country, another country. But seeing this is really amazing. me. Did you just laugh? And I'm standing here with my favorites for the Christmas. And on behalf of staff and management of NTO Oshobo, we say we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Annie. with friends, families, and staff. It's not come with me. We do apologize for that hitch, but not to worry. We should be going back to Lagos to join Jennifer, but we will move on here in Abuja. Now, you know, festive season, no doubt, provides time for people to relax from daily hustle and bustle and pave way for jolly and uh, merriment a time to spend with friends, family, and uh, loved ones. Making the season memorable does not come with mere words, but expenses. Diana Kume Ulolo will tell us why in this report. The end of the year usually comes with festivities, and the youth tide season allows most people 
spend more by buying gifts for friends, families, holding get-together parties, and even picnic for most people. The season, which also usher into a new year, is characterized by shopping, outings, traveling, and lots of merriment. However, while one may be carried away with these activities, it is pertinent to note that the aftermath of the season is always daunting. To budget your spending on what you have, don't do more than your capacity, don't do more than yourself. If it's a bottle of wine you can afford to give somebody, do that, don't go and borrow to please another person. Don't even borrow to please your family. Tailor our expenses based on what we have so that we can also have plans for the next year that is coming, which we all pray is going to be very fruitful and very blessed. You don't spend all your money because of Christmas. You still look after towards the January, because that is the difficult time for me. Respondents are of the view that it is important to spend with caution. Remember January is going to come. Spend according to your budget and spend carefully so January doesn't hurt you. That's the thing. Why we are in the mood of the festivities. It is also the perfect time to modify our financial plan and keep track your goals for the coming year. Thank you so much for that report. And it means you have to be prudent at this time of the year. Now we'll take another break. More to come on Newsline. Naira sign up bonus and double data with Airtel over Jara. Airtel, a reason to imagine. I miss them. Will it feel like it used to? With everyone so busy these days, it will be fine. Suddenly, she passes right. Oh, yeah, right now. <laughs> Single fire. So Grandpa. <laughs> What was grandma like? She always found ways to bring us all together. Your flight will be ready shortly now. Thank you. Breakfast in Paris. Lunch in London. This could be you. And there's more. Hey, Mai, tell them more. Of course. Now this is what I call a win. And this could be you too in the Globe Festival of Joy promo. By recharging 50,000 Naira or more within a month, you could be among our 100 winners who will win business class tickets from Lagos to Paris to London. If you recharge 100,000 Naira or more in a month, you could be one of the many winners of a premium bungalow in Nigeria. The more you recharge, the more your chances to win. How was your flight? Delicious. Glow Unlimited. Hi. You don't know when you have bacteria breath. And bacteria may be the cause of it. Don't let bacteria breath get all the attention. Use Close Up with antibacterial zinc. Close Up helps get rid of bacteria breath. Now for house of a Tory being still I still must hold. Is 
distraction If they break we connection We suppose give attention oh, To the things we matter for us So no matter where we go No matter Nigeria, Africa's beauty on the Gulf of Guinea, blessed with natural landmass and wildlife reserve. Nigeria, largest economy in Africa. Nigeria, famous accomplishments in entertainment and sports. Nigeria, resourced with globally respected human capital. Our uniqueness lies in our tenacity. Our acumen, a testament of our success. At NTA, we are all forever proud to be the showcase channel of this positive energy and the reflection of the good in our nation. The capacity to tell a nation's story will not have been possible without the support and patronage of the three arms of government. Ministries, departments, agencies, corporate bodies, advertisers, religious bodies, civil society groups, political parties, and of course, you, our esteemed viewers. Let's get set to make 2024 even greater. Together, Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Welcome back. For man to see death face to face and eventually cheated death, no amount of praises and thanksgiving to God for sparing his life is too much to render. This sums up the experience of a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress and senior advocate of Nigeria, Chief Ulusho Laoke, as he rolled out drums in appreciation of God's mercy over his life for surviving a ghastly motor accident. Tony Batter brings us details of the special thanksgiving held in Akure Ondo State. Dances and praises in thanksgiving to God were on ceaselessly at the interdenominational thanksgiving service held in honor of Chief Odisho Laoke as family members, friends, political associates, and well-wishers within and outside the state convite on the International Cultural and Event Center, the Dome in Akure, to appreciate God in the life of a man that is still standing strong despite harrowing experiences. In his words of exhortation, pastor in charge of region and assistant continental overseer, RCCG Region 22, Akure, Pastor Elijah Ajibade, emphasized the need for constant gratitude, noting that only the living can praise God. For everything that the Lord has given to you, you praise him for that. It means that you have returned the glory to him rather than ascribing the glory to yourself. While recounting how God rescued him from the ghastly accident that occurred on Friday evening of 25th August 2023 along Oreo Road on his way to the southern part of Undo State, Olusholaoke reaffirmed his faith in God, having been kept away from his law practice and social engagement for about five months. He appreciated those that stood by him during the trying period. But for God, I shouldn't be here today as a living. I should be as well. But because God loves me so much, and he also knows that I've not completed my assignment, he intervened. I'm alive, hail and hearty. I give glory, honor and adoration to his name. For family members, political associates and friends, the victory of Chief Vuki over death can only be God. I have my covenant with God and my husband must live, must not die. And the Lord has fulfilled it so far. It's actually a blessing that he survived. And he's only lucky to be with us alive today and we thank God for his life. When God saves your life, then you have to appreciate God. So this event is worth doing. Prayers of God's continual protection were offered for Chief Odusholaoke and his family members.
It was time for refreshment at the grand reception for guests and well-wishers. Born 67 years ago in Ilaje, Ilaje local government area of Ondo State, Olusha Laoke, a senior advocate of Nigeria and the chieftain of the All Progressives Congress APC, served meritoriously as a national and local legal advisor of various political parties and held many government appointments. <laughs> Congratulations to him and thanking God always should be a lifestyle. Now when people are united, they can work together towards a common goal, growth and development. This was the unanimous agreement of the people of Taraba State residents in Abuja when they put aside their differences to celebrate brotherhood and hard work. Mom so Damien Data capture the sights and sounds for Newsline. From diverse fields of life, but all from Turaba State, they are converging here at the Mariam Babangida Center for Women Development to celebrate the end of year 2023 and award personalities who have distinguished themselves. It is the fourth year we are celebrating Taraba Day and it's always been wonderful. We are very wonderful people, hospitable people, nature gift to the nation. Taraba is a great state. Everybody here, we have our different, different languages. We can see we are united. It is an ambience of reunion and catching up for those who have not seen in a long time. I met a lot of friends, pointed there, was my classmate in secondary school, we've not met for very long. Uh, up there is my friend, we've not met for very long. So you are living in one part, the other person is living, and all con you're just concerned about your work. But today I've been able to meet at least over 100 people that I've not met by this year. Dignitaries present include the governor, represented members of the National Assembly, captains of industries, and heads of public and private sectors. All Tarabans are gathered here, irrespective of their religion, irrespective of their uh, tribe, irrespective of their regions. They are all gathered here because the governor has made a call to all of them. And uh, one of the key issues to be discussed here is the issue of unity, the issue of participating in governance, despite your political lineage. Come home, give advice, and uh, so that the government will also harvest from your opinion and uh, make it uh, uh, a successful government. In the center of this all is the critical need for unity and development among the Turabans. And one thing is about it is one family. That's how I believe. It's the responsibility of everybody that we can we can add value to our states, uh, no matter what we have. So I think when you're blessed, you also have the responsibility to sacrifice and lift other people up. Yes, indeed. Taraba is blessed with talents and diverse cultures brought here on display. is a national tribe across Africa, particularly the West Africa. Regardless of our religion differences, we celebrate our culture. Very excited to actually display my culture, my culture, my heritage. Of course, when I hear the beating, I was inside, but I have to abandon whatsoever I'm doing inside to come. One thing about me, I love to promote my culture wherever I am, if I'm out of Nigeria here. And it's beautiful seeing people from different cultures from my state. Like, see the Chamba, you have the Fulani, different tribes, and it's so beautiful. And it's actually a beautiful day. You're sincerely talking about myself. Couldn't resist the scintillating drum beats and had to join. <laughs> All right, that's nice, Mom, so thank you. 
It was without doubt a memorable occasion as sons and daughters from the five local government areas that constitute Ubumo show, including eminent personalities, converged on the town stadium in Erno, former pastor of the redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, who is now the 21st show of Ubumo show land. His Imperial Majesty Obagandi Afolabi Olaoye received a staff of office from Governor Shea Makinde of Oyo State. Admiral Kamarudin captured the historic event. <laughs> Notable indigents of Obumosho land were on ground to receive dignitaries and some traditional rulers, including the owner of Ife, Obade Yogosi, Ulu of Wari, among others, on behalf of Oba Gandhi, Afolabi Olawye, Oru Nogge Former Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibaju, and Governor Demola Deleke of Osun State entertained the gathering with praise songs to appreciate God for choosing Oba Gandhi as king for the people of Obumosho land. Governor Shimakide of Oyo State, while presenting instrument of appointment huh? and staff of office Thank to the 21st Shawun of Gomosho land, says the choice of Obagandi was devoid of influence. It is not just the Gomosho land that you have to uh, work for its unity. You have to work for the unity of the traditional council in your state. So I do hope with the coronation and the staff of office, you will work now assiduously to ensure that we have a your state council of traditional rulers. Appreciating Governor Sri Makide for endorsing his selection, the new monarch called on the people of Gumasho land. I am asking you to join hands with me by giving of your time, by giving of your talent, and by giving of your treasure, with us to develop of Umosho land. Some indigents and other invited guests speak on their expectations. We as citizens are ready to support you to ensure that we are actualized in the future. We pray that God will give him wisdom. So his coming at this time is to come into a larger kingdom. We are all to come to the promised land. I'm using him in this medium for all our sons and daughters in and out of the uh, to become. Oba Gandhi Afolabi Olawi Oruma Gede Ted succeeded the late Oba Jima Oyewumi as a Gede Ted who joined his ancestors on December 12, 2021. Congratulations to him. Truth is said to be the cornerstone of good journalism. This was part of criteria for choosing winners at the 2023 Nigeria Media Merit Award held at the Muzan Center in Uniko, Lagos. Deborah Balabubu tells us that NCS Ololade Adeniji won the best presenter of the year the second time. <laughs> Journalists and presenters from the print, television and radio were nominated and screened to emerge winners in their various categories of entries. NTA's Olala De Adeniji won the Best Presenter of the Year, the second time running under the entry of the Executive Discourse. It's something, it's something I've enjoyed doing. I don't see it as a job. Television program presentation for me is a passion. It's a day-to-day -day thing. And um, I'm really humbled and thankful to God for this award. Second time running. Last year I won it, and this year I'm winning it again. I'm very humbled. 
This year's edition is the 31st and has grown with entries developed from 11 to 50 categories. The event was conceived to recognize expertise and skill in the media industry. It is also a way to make sure journalists practice conscious social responsibility of development and peace for the overall good of the country. We have certain criteria. For instance, for the press, we talk about the language, the depth, the accuracy. Therefore, NNM is appealing to media owners to empower their journalists to attend training and complete training every year on the year. What they are measuring is different from NTA's objectives. But even then, you have to use NTA's objectives to measure NTA. Organizers also called for more entries, particularly from online media, to ensure adherence to the ethics and values of journalism. Like I always say, we lead at the NCA. Congratulations to the NCA family and congratulations to our very own Olola Day. Now let's pay some bills. More to come when we return. Get in on the action with Betano, your exciting destination for thrilling sports betting. Enjoy an award-winning experience with amazing betting options, cash out, and missions, as well as other features. Join now and get a welcome bonus of up to 100,000 Naira. Betano.ng. The game starts now. I miss them. Will it feel like it used to? With everyone so busy these days. It will be fine. Suddenly, she passes right... Oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Single fire! So Grandpa, <laughs> what was Grandma like? She always found ways to bring us all together. Bacteria breath. And bacteria may be the cause of it. Yeah! Don't let bacteria breath get all the attention. Use Close Up with antibacterial zinc. Close Up helps get rid of bacteria breath. We don't like to eat better. More nutritious meals, more veggies. But we want it tasty and easy too. Hmm. No cubes. That's the secret. Made with real ingredients like chicken, parsley, and garlic. And enriched with iron, so your meals are better for you. And more delicious, too. That's the cocoa. Let's give it some accolades. Change your world by changing what's on your plate. I miss them. Will it feel like it used to? With everyone so busy these days. It will be fine. Suddenly, she passes right... Oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Single fire! So Grandpa, <laughs> what was Grandma like? She always found ways to bring us all together.
since 1971, Nigeria's foremost human capital development institution, the Industrial Training Fund, ITF, has been at the forefront of equipping Nigerians with skills for national growth. Today's ITF has repositioned and refocused its programs, forging new partnerships locally and internationally to effectively deliver on its mandate. With 37 area offices and five industrial skills training centers across the country, ITF is pushing to reduce unemployment by providing relevant technical and vocational skills for employability and entrepreneurship in diverse trades and crafts. Whether you're a public or private organization seeking to improve the skills of your personnel or an individual looking to acquire skills that will increase your chances of employment or even to help start your own business, today's ITF has a program for you. Speak to us today. Contact our area offices nationwide or visit our website www.itf.gov.ng. ITF, developing the nation's human resource. Hi. You come here alone? You don't know when you have bacteria breath. And bacteria may be the cause of it. Don't let bacteria breath get all the attention. Use Close Up with antibacterial zinc. Close Up helps get rid of bacteria breath. Thanks for staying with us. Our social diary is now opened. Now, one of the many ways to change the narrative is to build families through marriages. Now, two lovebirds from North Central got glued together in the air for a matrimonial journey of a lifetime. Mohammed and Hamidat are the two latest couple in this admirable future sealed by Igbira tradition and moral authority of Gwarimpa Jumat Mosque as prescribed by Islamic injunctions. Dr. Alabi takes it from here with the rest of the story. Brigadier General Muhammad Danjuma Yusuf retired and Alaji Muhammad Musa are the parents of the couple. They are both from Ihima in a Dafi local government area of Kogi State. And in the usual Ebira colorful traditional marriage, women are seen singing and dancing, carrying tubers of yams to the ladies' house, among other items including clothing materials and boxes and jewelry. This scenario played out in Muhammad and Hamidat's traditional wedding. Apart from paying bride price, breaking of Kula Nord is also observed as part of customs to pray for peace and tranquility as they become husband and wife. The Gwarimpa Jumaat Mosque also played host to many who joined Islamic clerics to witness the pronouncement of Muhammad and Hamidat as husband and wife. For Muhammad and his half-throb Hamidat, the moment to perform their first assignment as husband and wife came, and guests watched with excitement how they toast, eat and drink together as young couple. Her kindness and her purity and her humbleness. His character. I'm pray it's prayerful, honest, truthful. It's character all together. And when it was time for the newly wedded to know some secrets of a successful home, those with master class experience came handy. That they have the joy, the happiness, the peace, good health, and Allah's, Allah's Rahama. I want them to exercise patience with each other. Now they have completed half of their religion. So they should do that with consciousness. To look at their parents, then to be guided by the holy books. To also form a family of themselves so that they can raise children uh, that will be good ambassadors for this country. I'm very grateful to God. That's why we are doing all this one, because we are so happy. Patient and perseverance. Today is my happiest day. To be God-fearing and do not depart from the light of and part of God. The husband and the wife should respect each other and Almighty Allah will always guide them and protect them. As the journey begins, the prayers of parents and well-wishers are to see a future where another celebration will bring more people together, especially after the usual nine months blessing, when Muhammad and Hamidat would themselves be parents. May God bless their home. To another love story, it was a joyful and exciting moment for Morjana to Abdurazak 
and Dauda Uzi Salami as they tied the knot to start their journey together in marriage. They were joined by Islamic clerics in the presence of family members, friends and well-wishers. Hakim Aliu captured the wedding fatia in traditional ceremony in Buari FCT. From across the country, we're in Buari Area Council of the FCT to witness the birth and take off of a new family in accordance with Islamic religion marriage rights, kicked off with a bride prize presented by the representative of the groom's family to that of the bride. I have collected 100,000 naira for the dowry of my daughter Murjana to Murjana to Murjana to Murjana to Uzi Salami and Murjana to Abdurazak were joined as husband and wife by Imam Marado Aliu at Jumat Mok Studio Fulani Buari. It's not easy to train a child from nursery to primary school to secondary school to universities to even go for her masters and uh, finally she got a husband who is reliable and responsible. I can see certain signs that uh, both of them have a uh, reasonable affection for each other. I wish them the best of uh, luck in this uh, marriage that they've started. Having given prominence and honor to the religious obligation above tradition, from the marks, the families of Malam Amuda Yusuf Abdurazak and late Al Haji Abdul Salam Giwa, as well as their guests and well wishers, immediately converged on the bride's father's house for the traditional wedding ceremony. I feel very happy and thankful to the Almighty Allah for seeing this day. The families, both of the Ibira heritage from Kogi State, joined Murjanat Abdurazak and Dauda Salami to perform the significant traditional breaking and feeding of colonels blessed by the elders. The <laughs> was morals. She comes from a very, very disciplined home. They are very upright religiously. She's also beautiful. A lot of things attracted me to him. Basically, he's nice, he's understanding, he's caring, and he has fear of God. The event was graced by dignitaries who showered them with prayers. Marriage is a learning process, and both of them have to respect it. Endure. Endurance is the sustenance of any marriage. Love the Sea is a beautiful thing. And so was the atmosphere here, combined with joy as the new couple danced to several cultural wedding songs embedded with messages of celebrations and advice. <laughs> the couple will subsequently be hosting their guests at a reception in Adavi local government area of Kogi State. <laughs> Media lives be filled with so much colors. Let's take our last round of commercials to stay with us. I miss them. Will it feel like it used to? With everyone so busy these days. It will be fine. Suddenly, she passes right... Oh, yeah, right now. Single fire. So grandma. <laughs> what was grandma like? She always found ways to bring us all together. nutritious meals, more veggies, but we want it tasty and easy too. Hmm.
No cubes. That's the secret. Made with real ingredients like chicken, parsley, and garlic. And enriched with iron, so your meals are better for you. And more delicious, too. That's the cocoa. Let's give it some accolades. Change your world by changing what's on your plate. Hi. You come here alone? You don't know when you have bacteria breath. And bacteria may be the cause of it. Don't let bacteria breath get all the attention. Use Close Up with antibacterial zinc. Close Up helps get rid of bacteria breath. Something new is about to hit your imagination of TV. A brand new sundial with Star Times inbuilt technology. New TV innovation with an inbuilt decoder that connects you to both Star Times antenna and satellite signal. Star Times Sundial TV you can enjoy over 300 local and international channels, one month Star Times Highest Bouquet for free, automatic system update. More benefits, more affordable. Star Times Sundial TV is available in all Star Times branches and dealers countrywide. Star Times Inside, entertainment inbuilt. I miss them. Will it feel like it used to? With everyone so busy these days. It will be fine. Suddenly, she passes right... Oh, yeah, I know. Single fire. So Grandpa, <laughs> what was Grandma like? She always found ways to bring us all together. You're still watching Newsline. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nelson Wiki, says President Tinubu should be appreciated for intervening in the political situation in Rivers State. Wiki was speaking during the 20th wedding anniversary and Thanksgiving service of Dr. and Mrs. George Kelly Alabo at the King's Assembly Church. Wiki said it was strange that the same people who went to beg President Bola Tinobu to intervene in Rivers state issues are the ones now saying he lacks the constitutional power to intervene. The minister who explained that he was not the one who went to the president to seek for his intervention, other that the president must however be appreciated for his fatherly role. The FCT minister who reiterated his loyalty to President Tinobu advised those taking sides in the political crisis in Rivers State not to fall for political lies and propaganda, but always seek the truth as he disclosed the stories of him making demands on the state are false. He recalls how, as a governor, he fought many states to win back Rivers oil wells, which the proceeds are for the benefit of the state. Wiki cautions people fueling ethnic division in the state to know that Rivers State belongs to all the indigenous, irrespective of where they come from. The departure of late Justice Agnes Usifu Amashi to the great beyond has been described as the loss of a principled jurist and an excellent role model whose absence will be greatly felt. This form informed the gathering of family members and friends who converged at the St. Joseph's Catholic Church, Ulaku in Imo State, to celebrate her glorious exit from Mother Earth. 
Let's join Beatrice Aima as she brings us details of the burial ceremony which attracted dignitaries from various parts of the country. Who said that life is measured by the footprint left in the sands of time for late Justice Agnes Usifo Ameshi, who was described by many as an intelligent and erudite judge who through her profession served God and humanity, her legacies will continue to live on. It is against this background that family members, legal luminaries, led by the most state chief judge, Justice Teresa Chikeka, friends and associates gathered in Olapo, in Owe North local government area of Imo State, to bid her farewell from her earthly sojourn. The Catholic Archbishop Emeritus of the World Ecclesiastical Province, Most Reverend Anthony Obina retired, described the late Justice Ameshi as a devoted Christian and a jurist who discharged her duties with the fear of God. A distinguished justice that stood her ground, her grounds in matters of justice in a way expected of uh, true justices in this nation. She nurtured a lot of religious homes and she helped a lot of people become priests today. The remains of the late matrach were interred in her husband's compound after graveside rites. Children of the deceased, among whom is the managing director, NNPC 18 Operating Limited, Lawrence Ameshi, eulogized the life and times of their late mother, who died at the age of 84. She taught us the values of honesty, hard work, focus. She's a wonderful, irreplaceable soul. And Iroko has fallen in the family because she touched the life of each and every one of us. Respectable woman, a loving mother-in-law. She was my friend. Uh, she was a very strong woman, and every time we um, went to see her, she always teach us different stuff. She loved, like, church and praying a lot. Some sympathizers encouraged the bereaved family members to take solace in the fact that their mother lived a good life. My friend is extremely close to his mom. He was so emotional. I've not seen him this emotion in him before. So God should give him the fortitude to bear the loss. She's kind. She's forthright. She's, she's ever encouraging. And she's deeply spiritual. Nothing was left to chance in the celebration of life. As guests who came from far and near were treated to some just meals and music entertainment. And that's News Night today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Elizabeth Omori. Happy holidays.